update you on what we know at this point in terms of the uh, strikes in Syria. Um, and this is just the beginning. Understand that. We're, we're probably only a couple billion into this thing, and uh, we're not going to be done until we spend at least a half a trillion. What do you say, folks? I know that we have the gumption uh, to do this. I mean, forgive me for being so uh, flip about this, but it's uh, it's it's pretty stunning. I mean, it, it and and I don't know if we will know for a while just all the jockeying that uh, has gone on. Like I say, we are uh, there were the strikes happened in three waves, is according to the Pentagon. The first targeted. Uh, Corazon, this uh, the latest Al Qaeda spinoff that um, we now perceive as an imminent threat to the country. Apparently, was it uh, who was it? Alexander, did you say uh, was in front of uh, was testifying uh, earlier this week? Um, I'm sorry, Clapper uh, from the NSA uh, testifying that uh, Corazon has shown up on the on the radar now. Who knows um, why we have decided now to strike a Corazon in this thing? Maybe it was maybe it was a trade-off for one of our uh, so, so-called partners. Uh, maybe they didn't particularly like the leadership of this group. Uh, maybe this was a uh, threefer for the Obama administration. Who knows? Uh, the next two waves targeted ISIS militants, uh, including their um, in towns on the border of Turkey, where apparently uh, ISIS or ISIL has uh, taken over a number of towns in the past couple of weeks. Obviously, that's an issue for the Turks. Um We also uh, attacked what is the, I guess, the ISIS's sort of de facto capital, the city of Raqqa, I believe it's pronounced, uh, and some of the bases in, uh, around Raqqa. There were other strikes in Dair al Zur and Hasaka provinces as well as oil wells controlled by ISIS uh, as a way, I guess, presumably of diminishing their some of their revenue sources. Um, there were also strikes in Iraq, supposedly to create uh, space for the Iraqi security forces uh, to reorganize. United States proud, again, to stand shoulder to shoulder, according to uh, President Obama, with Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Qatar, Jordan, and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, so <clears throat> today, at a day at the uh, UN, where we were uh, ostensibly going to see talks on climate, they'll still go on, but I imagine... They won't have the same sort of sexiness and urgency that they would have had the other day.